big laban nila sa Malaysia o sa tilang baka nila itong Malaysia. Ito yung kanilang big three coach run. Tatlong manlalaro who scored 53 points. That's 56% out of the 93 na naita na ang Jordan in that convincing win over Malaysia. And that's why today, nakabuelo na naman sila looking once again to impose their experience, their height against the challenge of the Smart Gillers team for them to be able to uh, still be at the top of the heap, so to speak, pagkatapos itong laban na ito. So the Philippines with a three-point deficit to start their second quarter. There's a kick-out pass. Lasseter, first attempt, no good. Ito na si Wright, speeding down court. Nadulas, and traveling. Tinawag dito kay Raheem Wright. Uh, very familiar na rin sa Philippine brand of basketball played as an import para sa Philippine Patriots. Tama, for a short while, no? At, uh... Napanood ko rin ito sa mga European Leagues. Hindi pala traveling ang tinawag. Oh, parang pala sa Jordan yung bola. Buti na lang. Kapos. Once again, in open court, malaki ang advantage natin dito sa kumuna ng Jordan. Mas bata ang mga manlalaro natin. At uh, definitely, yung teamwork has been built. Because this team has been together for the last two years at least. Mas bata, kaya pamilyar tayo dito sa background music at nai-inspire <laughs> itong uh, oh. team Pilipinas. Tama, kulang nila, carousel. Napapapalakpak, clap your hands raw eh. Okay, kaya ito, naka-stop na naman. Oh, wait a mo. Pabilis na pabilis. At yan, buhibilis na rin ang laro ng Pilipinas. Backdoor play! Uy, sayang! Merong breakdown doon sa rotation ng defense by the white shirts. But unfortunately, we couldn't control that leather. Could have been a nice, easy, rear cut two-pointer para dito sa Team Pilipinas. The rebounds are uh, close. So far, that's a good sign. Maraming offensive rebounds na napulit yung kumpana ng Jordan, lalong-lalo na sa first few minutes. Kung kahit nabulaga tayo, at uh, mataas yung kanilang uh, porsyento from the outside. Tough fadeaway jumper. A scramble for the loose ball. It will stay with Jordan. At maliwanag ang tema rito. Pag si Dauti Chumalinch ng on the ball, yung weak side rebounding na kukontrol dito ng Jordan. Ito na ngayon. Ayun na kayo sinasabi mo. Mag humepre nito si Dauti. Ayan na, ayan na, dodomi na ngayon ng Jordan ng offensive rebounds. Locking out is vital para dito sa kampanya ng Team Pilipinas. Pag masyado kang maraming possessions na binibigay, especially sa offensive rebounds, eventually, masasaktan ka dyan. And eventually, mafa-foul trouble pa. But so far, itong Jordan, only with a one-point lead over Team Philippines, yan ang maraming pinulot ng offensive rebound kanina, making his re-entry here in the second quarter. Nice play of that baseline inbound, pero hindi lang makafinish. Malaking bagay talaga si Marcus Doughty dyan inside the paint. Really uh, intimidates the opponent, opponents. And listen to the following names. Jamal Samson, CJ Giles, Milan Vosicevic. Yan ang mga manlalarong sinilip, sinubukan, subalit tayo'y bumagsak kay Marcus Doughty na hindi naman natin pinagsisihan dahil he has been a perfect teammate and a perfect mentor likewise sa kanyang mga batang teammates. At magandang ball movement na naman yun para sa ating uh, Team Pilipinas. Ito, nakaagaw pa. Inside pass. Oy, hindi na lang natapos. Pero nandun, si Marcus Doughted. Kung ginagatasan ng Jordan yung offensive rebounds, para naman sa atin yung forced turnovers ang nakakapigbigay sa atin ng uh, some extra possessions. Maganda yung agaw ni JV Casio. Once again, the Philippine squad showing a lot of quickness. Playing the passing lanes, being aggressive on defense Dahil alam nila at naiintindihan nila Pag napunta yung labanan underneath Lamang dito ang Jordan Dahil mas marami silang malalaki sa kanilang lineup And Marcus Dautet Taking care of his free throws Concerned look para kay Coach Raiko Toroman Two for two para dito kay Marcus Dautet Malangkit na defensa, pinapakita dito ng Team Pilipinas. 
Ito si Wright. Lupos niya yung guwanto natin. Fade away. No good. And once again, the outhead was trying to go on the ball help. Wala siyang choice kundi iwanan niya yung tao niya dahil super mismatch siya with Rasheem Wright over JV Cash on the post. Once again, it opens up the weak side rebounding para dito sa Team Jordan. Ito na. Uy, hindi na double dito sa corner. Isub Sukob. So far, still scoreless para dito sa Jordan. But in jersey number 9. Ito na ngayon, Rasheem Wright. Using multiple screens. Okay, tamo pati yung mga defensive schemes sa international level. Misa na iba kung para sa nakikita natin sa PBA at sa ibang professional leagues. Dito, pwede mong switch dahil meron kang last line defender na seven footer at kadalasan halos lahat ng mga kupulan dito sa Jones Cup meron ganong kalalaki. Ang Iran, ilan? Ang dami. Marami rin. Pepe, may isa. Hindi pa lang yata wala dahil ang babata pa. Lalaki pa sila. From the outside, big man with a good shooting touch. Once again, Marcus doubted respecting the bigs of Jordan who have shown that ability to make that shot from the outside. But as I'm trusting, they come close out and challenge. Ball will stay with the team Filipinas. Para naman sa Jordan, the way they extend their half court defense is just two steps away from that wide three point line. Understanding that pag tumama at kumonekta ang Team Pilipinas on the three, mahihirapan silang bumantay. Four seconds to shoot. Two seconds to shoot. Got it. Just in time. Barakel. Hustling for it. Ito. Napulo ni Chris Chu. Lasseter. Good hustle para sa Team Pilipinas. Very scrappy play coming from the blue shirts. Kanyang mga 50-50 balls na tinatawag mo, Richard. At uh, yun ang ating uh, pang-counter. Doon nga sa napakarami nating binibigay ng offensive rebounds. Extra possessions, extra chance at making added points. Here's right against Casio. And good rebound there by Dautin. Here's a fast break play for the Team Filipinas. Laster kicks it out. Wide open is JV Casio. No! But they get another chance. Inside they go to Barakel. Oh! Fast at the start. Go in. Well, Mariwala, very audible. Narinig natin yung kanilang mentor ni si Coach Thomas Malvin. Shouting pressure. Pressure. Try to force turnovers, try to cover the passing lanes, and once again for the second time, extra possession because of our scrappiness has led to another chance at the basket, and this time Barakel will go to the free throw line. Yan po ang American coach ng kapala ng Jordan. What Coach Rico Toroman has built over the last two years is a team which has a very good starting unit, and likewise, a second unit which is also efficient. Suddenly, mahirap tayong kalaban dahil hindi lumalaylay yung laro natin maski paingay mo yung starting unit. Ang constant lamang na kailangan natin makita ay huwag ma-foul trouble itong si Marcus Dautin. Meantime, Barakel extending the lead of the Pilipinas. Now the lead is up to 5. Here comes Jordan playing the perimeter. Six seconds to shoot. Good patience, and there's a foul. Ito mo naman yung pasensya. Veterano, veterano. Ang Jose Magtimuan, looking at the shot clock, forcing Doubted to step out and defending, and then attacking, using his quickness to get to the basket. Nakita natin dito sa Pilipinas yan, mga 6-3 yan na point grip. Tama. Ayan, Marcus Doubted, magpapahim ngayon sa glit. In comes Asito Lava. Ito naman ang ating rotation sa 5 position. Asito Lava, a 39 years old, one of the oldest players here in the Jones Cup. But the way he has taken care of his body has enabled him, together with Don Donativeros, to be able to keep in step with the speedsters dito sa ganitong international level. Alright, a split. From the line. 
Ito na, mayroon full court pressure na apply ang Jordan. Oh, nabitawan niyo pa na kayo yung bola. Eh, but Jordan turns the ball over. That's a good stop. Protecting your turnovers, not giving up turnover points. As a sum of after that steal, try to go for one and two. One against two attack, instead he loses that basketball. It's a very crucial stage for us at the Philippines to uh, hang on to this lead without Marcus Doubted inside the court. Ibang iba na yung poise na nakikita natin dito sa Smart Killers team. No? Ngayon, pati yung adaptability nila sa ganitong classic level. Playing every day, the physicality likewise, and all the other things, major distractions that have come their way, kaya na nilang harapin ngayon. Inside pass. Uy, sunerte dito si Asi. Ito naman, nakatabay ka lang doon. Bigla may grasya bumaksak sa'yo. Well, he was at the right place at the right time. Just hovered underneath. Six-point margin para dyan sa ating smart gilas. They will, uh, Jordan will continue their attack inside the paint. Realizing na wala na nga yung higante ng ating uh, team Pilipinas, si Marcos Dautin. About eight points scored by this young player. As we take a look at what happened. Para kay losing handle, Asi Taulava getting the benefit out of that uh, lost, nearly lost possession. Pero alam mo na po, ang ating smart killers, team Pilipinas, they're trying to hang on against this attack. Oh, Jordan, we'll be right back. Oh, come on, guys. Jordan drips the lead to three. Jordan extending their defense. Kaya na may zone press tayo na mataan. Kaya naman full court pressure ang kanilang sinusubukang i-apply laban sa backcourt personnel ng Smart Gilas. Ah, si Taulava. Nice break. Dalawa yung lumipad pero hindi maka-finish. Those are key possessions na kailangan natin masigurado Abang wala si Marcus Doubted. Points in the paint comparison. Jordan with a slight advantage. Well, you can expect Jordan here. Well, that was a good shot. Taking it from the outside. JV Casho from the short corner. Sayang mga open looks na yun para sa ating team Pilipinas. But Jordan, you know, not helping their cause. Turning the ball over once again. That's the second turnover of that kind. Well credit that to the transition defense of the Blue Shirts. As we take a look at Baroka, who has had a good scoring game so far. JB Casho, nakakapuntos from the three. His perimeter jumper also was off a while ago. And let's see if Baroka will be able to pick up where he left off. And he fired 11 points in the first quarter. Baroka with a floater. My Enix in the first quarter. Right, looking inside. Walang mapasahan. This is a mismatch at the post. Good defense there for Barakael. Holding his ground. And that's an offensive foul. And that is the perfect example on how well we have been able to mature and evolve and adapt to the international level of play. Whereas dati, nangyayari, titiklop na yan eh. Oh. Kasi ang bibigat yan. Now we're able to hold ground, not willing to give help, and so we are able to stay home on the other gunners, and they're forced to give up those offensive fouls. The individual defense is very important, talaga. Dahil kung puro help ka ng help, eventually mabubutas, magbe-break down yung rotation mo sa defensive end. Ito, may hita natin yung atake ni... Lester, pumasok yung tira eh, pero no basket. We talk about young players who played over the last two and a half years. Yung extreme quickness is still there. They're at the peak of their conditioning, napakabata. And uh, once they have mastered that confidence to be able to play in this level, yan yung inaasahan natin na pag-angat ng level ng laro. 
ng uh, Philippine squad. And this is just to prepare our team for the Asian Championships that will happen in Wuhan, Hubei, China come uh, September, second week of September, Richard. At ang magkakampiyon doon will have a spot in the 2012 London Olympics. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit binuo ito programa ito Tama, ng Smart Gilas. Nako, 3 seconds ang tinawag dito against... Uh... Team Filipinas, hindi na tuwa doon si Coach Ryko Toroman. Oo, oh, at simple lang yung sinabi niya kay Asi, concentration. Yan. Itong Jordan talaga pinipilit ni Pasok sa loob yung bola, sa loob ng paint. Mahusay talaga pumulot ng bola, all his baskets, except for the jumper. Who about 15 feet away have come from point blank range. And that is Zagab. Bringing Jordan a point away from Team Philippines. Well, there's a little clarification here. Who is the technical? It's hard because when the player is given that, because it's always a personal foul, a technical foul, when it's in the international scene. And Marcus doubt it. Getting about a three-minute rest, forced to be sent back in. Dahil na bago na nga yung momentum rito and went in favor right now of Team Jordan. Balakay will try again. Short pa rin ang tira. At foul going up, going against Jordan. Baroka may be about a head shorter, but definitely his heart has been bigger than some of his counterparts looking at this. Ah, Tatay sa iba, oo. Oh. Oh. Sa so, balikat. Nagbabaang maangan ka pa. <laughs> Kitang-kita dun sa slow-mo eh. <laughs> And they're over the limit. Ano talaga nag-evolve na tong game, uh, Coach Ronnie? No? This is already a 33rd edition ng uh, Jones Cup. Malaki na pinagkaiba nung uh, very first Jones Cup, Jones Cup nung naglaro ka. Hindi uh, <laughs> naman, hindi naman. Nung 1986. Buhay pa si William Jones. Hindi <laughs> naman, hindi naman, hindi naman. Uh, kapatid niya yung buhay pa. Ah, okay. 1986 pa kami na naglaro dito pero mabigat talaga ang competition dahil everyday ka halos naglalaro. So at least pag nakasimula ka ng dalawang sunod na panalo, hindi mo lang mapapasaya ang Filipino community dito. Kundi aangat yung confidence level. Ayan. Dahil, alam mo, gusto gusto mong ipanalo to eh. Pero ang bigat ng mga kalaban. But right now, we have beaten already uh, the toughest team, which is Iran, supposedly. Yes, yes. And uh, two of the toughest teams still remain as obstacles sa ating kampanya na makakuha ng pang-apat na kampiyonato in the 33-year history of the Jones Cup. Of course, nanalo tayo noong 1981. Samantalo noong 1985, yung NCC ang nag-represent sa atin. At noong 1998, yun naman Centennial Team na nirepresent ang San Miguel. And of course, yung mga tinalo natin teams ngayon dito are ranked higher or uh, lower than us. Kung baka mas... Uh, mas yung ranking nila eh, sa FIBA ranking, sa so world uh, ranking, so mas mataas. I think itong uh, Jordan's rank 32 yes. in the world. Pero may mga ibang kuponan tayo nakita rito that are on a rebuilding stage in Chinese Taipei, yung Japan, nagpalitan ng mga players. Last year, nag-mythical fight pa rito si Yuta Tabuse for Japan. Oo. Oh, oh. Ako, turnover na naman to. An open look for right. And he knocks it down. We talk about a big-time player who can hit clutch shots. And Rashim Wright, once again, answering the call para dito sa Team Jordan. And here, is there a technical foul ang ibibigay sa atin? I'll see. It looks like it's just a timeout. And the great reclamo is, of course, Raiko. Well, the Philippines has some things to talk about uh, in this timeout. So we'll take a short break. Huwag po ba yung mahalis? Magpapalik mo. Alright, welcome back. As goes right, the Roman has had some issues with the referees. Ayan ang gamit. Tinatawag pa rin niya yung referees. Kausapin lang siya. Kahapon nakita rin natin yung ganyang klaseng tema in that game against Chinese Taipei na kung saan maraming calls in the first half. Sort of irritated a lot of players and especially Coach Raiko to Roman. And in today's game, Coach Raiko tried to be as patient as possible. But unfortunately, Team Jordan has made a strong run trying to end this quarter and this half once again ahead of Team Philippines.
All right, tignan natin, no? Itong uh, Jordan has regained the lead here, 34 to 32. Over, a little over a minute remaining here in the first half. Ito may si Doubted. In the post, there's a double team. Maroka. Marcio missing that one. Sidestepping move and a kick out right. So not make it back to back threes. Ito na main si Maroka leading the break. For the team Filipinas. Had to step on the brakes. An offensive foul. Chan has not been getting his touches. He scored 23 points yesterday, but so far Jordan has done an extremely good job taking away his touches underneath the basket. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nakakuha na naman ang dalawang puntas na kalamangan ng Team Jordan over the Philippines. At another time out, this time called by Team Jordan. At kami po ay magbabalik. At uh, we'll just uh, take a short breather. Huwag po kayo alis. They can get a count of themselves here, pero itong pong Jordan ay talagang uh, tough customer. And the outside easy. shot, Richard, has not fallen for us yes. in the second quarter. And majority of those points coming from Andy Baroka, 11 of them came in the first quarter. But aside from him, Zio Lasseter contained, Chris Lass also has not exploded. Ontiveros hit a three-pointer early in the first, but after that, wala tayong nakikita conversion from J.D. Casho and even itong si Chris Tew. Meantime, ito namang uh, kumpanan ng uh, Jordan has been taking it strong inside, has been trying to power themselves inside the shaded lane. There's their, their coach, Thomas Baldwin. So far, their game plan has been really to contain Marcos Dautin and defend the three-point shooters of Team Philippines and that has worked well for them here in the first half. Alright, an offensive foul called against uh, Jordan. That's the way to do it for Smart Gilas. Just play tough defense. Continue to focus on the things that you need to do. Back screen, offensive foul against Antiveros. Called against the tough defending Dodo Antiveros. Maroka. Lasseter now. Given a screen by Barakael. Lasseter splits the defense. Ito na ngayon. Doubt it. Clean block cross. Sabi na referees. And a uh, good break here for us. Uh, can easily reach about us. 10 assists a game, but so far Douglas has really not that potent in terms of issuing those passes, especially in the break. Natawagan ng kicking, ano? Oh, kaya ka nang hihitayan doon ng Jordan eh, kasi pumasok na yung layup. Kanina kasi puro lapas yung binibigay niya, pero hindi naman nasasalo. Ngayon, binounce pass pa niya, nasipa naman. We're looking for the last shot here. There it is. That's too strong. Tolana, ball in hand yon, so that will not count. Uh, that was a good defensive stop for Team Filipinas to be able to just uh, be going to the second half only down by two points. Close uh, contest in our hands, mga kaibigan. And we were down at the end of the first quarter. Biglang lumamang tayo towards the uh, second quarter. Pero ito, uh, towards the end of the first half, ito may yung uh, Jordan ang lumamang na naman. Both coaches still... Uh, Seeking some clarifications from the game officials as the players head on to their respective dugouts. A uh, lot of adjustments for both teams as we take a look at some of the supporters. Makabayan po natin. Meantime, both teams uh, looking to stay undefeated in this tournament. Uh, coming up next, we have our halftime uh, report. Babalik po.